Hello guys, and welcome to our video on Monero, a privacy-focused cryptocurrency that is gaining attention in the digital asset space. In this video, we will be discussing the basics of Monero, its unique features and its potential uses and benefits. Whether you're new to cryptocurrency or just curious about Monero, this video will give you a comprehensive overview of this exciting digital asset. So sit back, relax and join us as we explore the world of Monero. Let's get started. First of all, do you know what is Monero? Monero is a decentralized cryptocurrency. It achieves anonymity and fungibility by utilizing a public distributed ledger with privacy-enhancing technologies that obscure transactions. Addresses, transaction amounts, address balances, or transaction histories cannot be interpreted by observers. The system was developed as open source and is based on the crypto note idea which Nicholas van Saberhagen first introduced in a white paper in 2013. This idea was adopted by the cryptography community to create Monero, which launched its mainnet in 2014. To hide transaction data, Monero employs ring signatures, zero-knowledge proofs, stealth addresses, and techniques that mask IP addresses. Although sharing view keys with third parties for auditing is an optional step for users, these functions are built into the protocol. Through a network of miners using the proof-of-work algorithm RandomX, transactions are verified. The algorithm, which rewards miners with new currencies, was made to withstand mining with application-specific integrated circuits, ASICs. After Bitcoin and Ethereum, Monero has the third-largest development community among cryptocurrencies. Cypherpunks and consumers looking for privacy features not offered by other cryptocurrencies have been drawn to it by its privacy characteristics. It is rapidly being utilized in illegal operations including malware, darknet marketplaces, money laundering, and cryptojacking. The Internal Revenue Service, IRS, of the United States has announced rewards for contractors who can create Monero tracing systems. Monero's origins may be found in CryptoNote, a cryptocurrency technology that Nicholas Van Saberhagen initially introduced in a white paper released in October 2013. The author deemed Bitcoin's traceability a major issue and referred to privacy and anonymity as the most significant characteristics of electronic payment. These concepts were codified into the BitMonero cryptocurrency by the user, thankful for today, on the Bitcoin Talk forum. Because other forum users didn't agree with the route thankful for today was taking BitMonero in, Monero was forked in 2014. In Esperanto, Monero translates to currency, and the plural form Moniroge is occasionally used. The identities of Thankful for Today and Van Saberhagen are kept secret. In terms of development communities, Monero is third to Ethereum and Bitcoin. Ricardo Spagni, a developer from South Africa, was previously the protocol's chief maintainer. The majority of the core development staff opts to maintain their anonymity. The Monero Research Lab is responsible for some of the protocol and feature improvements for Monero MRL. Researchers, scientists, cryptographers, and developers often change roles within the lab. A subset of the MRL makes the same decision as the core VC development team to operate under pseudonyms or stay nameless. The Monero Research Lab is tasked with making changes to the Monero protocol and features, MRL. A section of the MRL prefers to remain anonymous or operate under a pseudonym, similar to the core VC development team. The privacy and anonymity related aspects of Monero are its main benefits. All transaction data are obscured despite the ledger being open and decentralized. Bitcoin, in comparison, allows for complete transparency and openness regarding all transactional information, user addresses, and wallet balances. Monero has a devoted following among crypto anarchists, cipher punks, and privacy advocates as a result of these qualities. By grouping a sender's outputs with other decoy outputs, ring signatures obscure the transaction outputs, or notes, of users transmitting Monero. With the introduction of ring confidential transactions, the encryption of transaction amounts started in 2017. The use of bulletproofs, a zero-knowledge proof technique, by developers ensures that a transaction took place without disclosing its value. Through stealth addresses, addresses created by users to receive money but untraceable to an owner by a network observer, Monero beneficiaries are secured. Users have the option to provide a private view key to allow third parties to audit their wallets or a transaction key to audit transactions. However these privacy features are enforced on the network by default. Dandelion++, a technology used by Monero, 
masks the IP address of the hardware generating transactions. This is accomplished using a technique known as transaction broadcast propagation. New transactions are initially sent to one node on the peer-to-peer -peer Monero network, and a repeated probabilistic method is used to determine whether they should be broadcast to many nodes in a process known as flooding or sent to just one node. The burgeoning blockchain analysis sector and the potential use of botnets for research served as the driving forces behind this methodology. Researchers identified three main privacy concerns to Monero users in April 2017. The first makes use of the zero-sized ring signature and the visibility of the output quantities. In the second, leveraging output merging, transactions when two outputs are owned by the same user are tracked, such as when they pay money to themselves. Finally, temporal analysis demonstrates that it can be simpler than previously believed to forecast the appropriate output in a ring signature. The Monero development team answered that they have previously addressed the first worry by requiring a minimum size for ring signatures in March 2016 and introducing ring CTs in January 2017. An empirical analysis of traceability in the Monero blockchain, a report written by academics in 2018, revealed potential flaws. In March 2018, the Monero team reacted. The Criminal Investigation Division of the Internal Revenue Service of the United States offered a $625,000 reward in September 2020 to contractors who could create instruments to aid in the tracing of Monero, other cryptocurrencies with privacy enhancements, the Bitcoin Lightning Network, or other Layer 2 Inches protocols. Chainalysis and Integra FEC, two blockchain analysis groups, received the contract. And what about Monero mining? Transactions are verified by Monero using the random X proof of work method. In November 2019, the procedure was released to take the place of the previous algorithm, Crypto Night R. The ASIC mining process, which is frequently used to mine other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, was intended to be resistant to both algorithms. Due to the Monero project's opposition to the mining centralization that ASIC mining creates, it was decided to design Monero so that it could be mined somewhat efficiently on consumer-grade hardware like x86, x86-64, ARM, and GPUs. This decision has also led to Monero's popularity among malware-based non-consensual miners. The P2 Pool Mining Pool, which operates on a sidechain and provides members complete control over their node as with solo mining settings, was released by the Monero project in October 2021. Monero's privacy features have made it popular for illicit purposes. Darknet markets commonly use Monero as a form of payment. Dark Market Alphabay started allowing its merchants to start taking Monero as a substitute for Bitcoin in August 2016. Law enforcement shut down the website in 2017, but it was restarted in 2021 with Monero as the only accepted currency. According to Reuters, three of the top five darknet markets in 2019 welcomed Monero albeit Bitcoin remained the currency of choice there. In order to mine Monero, hackers have inserted malware into programs and websites that target victims, sometimes called cryptojacking. Coinhive, a JavaScript version of a Monero miner that was, in some circumstances, installed in websites and applications by hackers, was prohibited by malware and antivirus service providers in late 2017. The script was created by Coinhive as an alternative to adverts, a website or app may include it and utilize the visitor's computer to mine cryptocurrency while they are viewing the web page's content, with the owner of the website or app receiving a cut of the coins mined. Some websites and applications did this without warning users, or in some circumstances, they did so by making use of all available system resources. As a result, businesses that provide subscription lists for ad blocking, antivirus, and anti-malware services disabled the script. Coinhive had already been discovered in Argentina's Starbucks Wi-Fi hotspots and Showtime-owned streaming services. Similar spyware that mined Monero and transferred it to North Korea's Kim Il-sung University was discovered in 2018 by researchers. Some ransomware gangs have been known to employ Monero. In the first half of 2018, 44% of Bitcoin ransomware assaults used Monero, according to CNBC. Some exchanges have decided not to list Monero as a result of the cryptocurrency's association with illegal marketplaces. Users now find it more challenging to trade Monero for fiat money or other cryptocurrencies as a result of this. Due to governmental pressure, exchanges in South Korea and Australia delisted Monero and other privacy currencies. That concludes our video on Monero. 
a privacy-focused cryptocurrency that offers unique features and potential benefits. We hope that you have a better understanding of Monero and its place in the cryptocurrency world. Remember to do your own research and make sure to consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. Thanks for watching.